In the premiere, it was as a Bravo fan, a jump scare for me. Jill Zarin is there. <laughs> I had this on mine, a button for the primary, and it's like a doorbell. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. I'm going to say that she may or may not have been the most difficult guest we have in season 11. There's no doubt I've got some big shoes to fill. It's a big girl. But hey, sounds like a challenge to me, and I'm up for it. Cheers. Captain Carey, the trailer opens with you saying you've got big shoes to fill. Yes. So what were the pressures of stepping into a Captain Lee-sized hole in this franchise? It's a, it's a massive hole. I mean, Lee has been uh, the backbone of a below deck for, for 10 years. And um, I've known Lee since before below deck. And before I took on Adventure, I called Lee up. He said, just be yourself. And that's what I did. I felt absolute honor to, to be asked to come across. Uh, Adventure was such a great experience. It gave me an opportunity to see myself as a captain from the viewer's eyes and my crew's eyes. And it allowed me to have more compassion and to work better and allow my crew to grow. And it was so exciting. So having the opportunity to do that again on the flagship show, I mean, what can I say? Did you hit up your boy Lee going into this experience of like any last minute words of wisdom? <laughs> yeah, no, he's it's 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 um, really the same the same deal. Like I, I called him up um, on the way to Miami Airport, flying in. Yeah, just um, advice on how the boat, how to manage the vessel. You know, uh, the characteristics of the boat. Um, I asked him about Fraser. Um, he had nothing but praise for Fraser. And he, he was a huge support and uh, and a backbone of me coming along and uh, and taking that helm. I am so f***ing mad. It's a total disregard of my authority. I never saw that coming, ever. Fraser, I think you're the only person in this whole universe to have worked with three captains. Four. Oh, yes, because you've had... Whoa. I had Captain Sean, which people forget about. Yes. I... Yeah, so to be honest, every season now, I, you know, I'm, I'm quite used to it. I've seen it all, um, but I'm very happy with who I've got at the moment. I was going to say, where does Carrie align with your kind of rankings of who your, <laughs> your style, you don't have to rank them, but of how your style of working, who does it align with <laughs> for you? You know what? It's, it's not so much of a rank. I'm very pleased to have been with all, all of them. You know, I did have a, a bit of a head bump with with Captain Sandy. What happened in front of my eyes can never happen again. Understood? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. We got that. Thank you. Are you kidding me? We're all good. We're pals now, and Lee taught me a lot. But um, but equally, I wouldn't be where I was today without having filmed such a successful season with Captain Kerry. So I'm grateful for, for all of their input, for sure. I like it. You're you're keeping things very even keel. You're like, hire me again. I want to keep my job, right. I want to keep it. <laughs> so, Carrie, you go in, you've got rave reviews from Lee about Fraser. I assume you walk away with your own rave reviews about this guy. Oh, absolutely. Um, I had the benefit of seeing Fraser uh, work with the other captains. So I kind of got a, uh, an inside game on how I could help manage and help Fraser grow. So for me, it was... Uh, very, very easy to work with him. You, on that note though, you do say in the trailer. You wanna know a little secret? Easiest part of being a captain is driving the boat. I'm getting no information. No, 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 no. The hard part's the crew. So this guy's not your headache, but who or what was? Oh, sorry, did I say he wasn't a headache? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he <you> did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that... we had a we, we had a lot going on, you know. Um, you know, even even with Fraser and myself, you know, I, I uh, you know I was trying to help him manage his crew, and there's times when um, he could have called me sooner, that could have helped things along. Uh, look, we've got so many different nationalities. We try and get that many people in a room together from the same nationality and see if they get on. Captain's been very diplomatic there, putting it down to nationalities. We also have some people that are just generally very difficult. <laughs> does it, on a scale of one to me, does anybody come close? Yes. Sorry, that was quick. Yes, they do. <laughs> you guys wanted to drive me batch crazy? You win! This is the worst day of my life, I think. Zandi is a phenomenal stewardess, and I don't know where I'd be without her. Um, Kat is adorable and tries her best. And Barbie is lovely, but a problem child. I 
I'm from Argentina and I'm a huge daddy's girl for sure. You do in the premiere, you say being a chief stew is part therapist, part maid, part garbage disposal and part mother. Which of those hats did you find yourself wearing the most? Ooh. Um, well, I think a, of my crew cried every day. Someone did every day, at least twice a day for six weeks. So I'll go with therapist um, and maybe a side of mummy. Okay, Carrie, I always find it interesting. There's so much happening below deck and with these crews that often the captains aren't clued into until the show makes it to TV. So when you got eyes on the trailer, was there anything that stuck out to you of like, oh, did not know this was happening while we were out at sea? Oh, absolutely. Especially to see that part with Ben and Fraser and Ben's like smirk look when he, where he dismisses Fraser. Ooh, mate, that pissed me off. Please don't get involved on an interior drama. Mate, you've had way more people let go on your side. End of story. Thank you, Ben. You think I'm a fucking joke? Listen, uh, Ben and I, uh, we we felt like, um, you know, brothers for the past two seasons or so. But um, yeah, we do butt heads. He loves to get involved with my girls on the interior. I'm such a sucker for a pretty face. And I'm here to work. Maybe put your, um, you know, your flirty pants at the door until the end of the season. But he just loved, I think he knows my trigger, but he knows, he, know, he knows where my buttons are and he likes to press them. And I guess it's my fault for letting him um, get to me the way he does. Thank you, primary in the hotel. Gross, good God, this is dirty, eh? The trailer also promises what looks to me like some of the wildest, maybe the worst charter guests in below deck history. <laughs> What are we in store for? I can tell you this much, mate. What you've seen are the tamest guests that we had. Yes. The tamest. It was, when I saw that trial, I'm like, come on, man. So yeah. there's, there's so much more to come. Okay, the, there's like a, in the premiere, it was as a Bravo fan, a jump scare for me. Jill Zarin is there. <laughs> I had this on mine a button for the primary, and it's like a doorbell. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. What was she like as a charter guest? I am going to say that she may or may not have been the most difficult guest we have in season 11. Okay. Were you, did you yeah. have an awareness of who she was beforehand? Yeah, but I don't think I needed that to know very quickly exactly what we were working with. <laughs> she just, she made a bunch of headlines for recently going on, I think a European getaway and brought an entire suitcase of Diet Coke with her. Did she bring that aboard? She you didn't, but she may as well have with the complaints she had about the Diet Cokes, yeah. Fraser, there's also what looks to be maybe a little guest hookup moment. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Stephen wants a New Year's kiss from you. I can't kiss a guest. Oh, what happened in Granada? Stay in <laughs> Granada. Carrie, how do you feel about that line becoming blurred and crossed? So I do remember, I'm at my desk in my cabin. Fraser comes up to me very sheepish. He didn't make much eye contact. And he's like, <laughs> Captain, I don't like this idea. But what are your thoughts on uh, a, a, a crewman kissing a guest for New, Year, New Year's Eve? Well, it was a guest I, preference. And I said, mate, look, I don't want any of the crew being hassled. Does the crew member want it? And he's looked at me and he goes, yes. <laughs> and I didn't have to even ask who it was gonna be. I just went back to my paperwork and nodded my head. <laughs> I thought that I'd rather not get in trouble. I'd rather keep my job over a smooch, for God's sake. So I'm going to ask Captain, and Captain was was uh, was fine with it. Listen, it's been my golden golden rule since day one to not get with guests. Um, but it was part of the entertainment of the night. It didn't go any further than that, apart from it may have when we dropped them off. But then they were no longer guests, so I don't see the problem. <laughs> I have a rule, you either ask permission or you don't get caught. That's it. Words to live by. <laughs> Words Love to live. it. We've got a <laughs> lot of season to watch. The promise that the boat may be cursed. <laughs> what do you think is gonna surprise the audience the most about this season of Blow Deck? There was so much drama. I remember filming it in the field and thinking, 
surely we have enough now to wrap up this season and get some production on it. But no, it just kept going. I'm tired of working on this damn yeah. boat. Like, I'm so sick of it. And my favorite part of the whole season, I will not say anything more than this, but it's in the last, I guess it's going to be the last episode. <laughs> it's stunning. So it's a, it's a very, very fun um, season ahead. Okay, that's a, a fun little carrot to dangle. Watch the whole season to find out Fraser's favorite moment. I seriously mean it. And when you go, and if this is watched after, you'll understand. You'll understand. If you had to sum up your season 11 experience in just a word, what would your word be? I'll give you a second to think about it. Wow. Iconic. Iconic. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we got to watch to the end. I can't think of a better way to end this interview.